I think we've seen plenty of Royal Rumbles to know how this one looks. Can we skip this? Come on, skip. Skip. Skip, damn it. Finally, the following match is a 10 man, oh, 10 team over the top rope battle royale. We start off with two competitors and then every 90 seconds, or so they say, another star comes out. After all 20 participants have entered the match, the last man standing will earn themselves a number one contenders match for the NCW Undisputed Tag Team Championships for their team. And here we go. Who's kicking things off? And why is it another person with the Dolph Ziggler theme song? Ah, it's uh, Flynn Adams. <laughs> Flynn Adams, part of the Chick Magnus with Tony Natoli. Former NCW Undisputed Tag Team Champions. Looking to get back in the title scene. Of course, he needs to win this battle royal in order to do so. But coming in at the number one spot, he's got a hope. That Tony Natoli comes out at a higher spot in order to get themselves a shot. But remember, this is how they got their first opportunity at the Undisputed Tag Team titles. By winning an over-the-top rope battle royale. Can they make lightning strike twice in this one? And they must have selfie sticks for fucking... Days backstage. Because he's got one. Damien Rolando's got one. Fucking. Pretty sure that Ken Snow had one. Or Andy Cox had one as well. But either way, Flynn Adams. Big opportunity for him. To become a two time undisputed champion tonight. Or at least get the opportunity in order to do so. But Flynn Adams did fail to capture the NCW Hardcore title against Evan Edwards a few weeks ago. But now... But now we're seeing... Oh, who is it? Sounds like it could be the one, the only Roy Nolan back in, back in action. He has... Raiden Hamilton as his tag team partner as part of Team r and R. I know that doesn't mean rest and relaxation. It doesn't mean red ribbon. It means Raiden and Roy. And looks like Roy Nolan wants that opportunity at the undisputed tag team titles as well as getting his hands On Tizda at an NCW Storm. If he could do double duty, pull out two victories. If Raiden could pull out two victories, that means Raiden would be United States and undisputed tag team champion. And Roy Nolan would have a shot at facing a champion in a non title match. Which would possibly be Eddie Knight, I, I, I would assume. Or perhaps he might even go for the undisputed title. But either way, Roy Nolan not in the best of moods after being blindsided by Tizda earlier after his victory over Corvo Jack. It looks like these are the two who will be starting it out. A former tag team champion and a former hardcore champion and we still got 18 stars left to come at, as Roy Nolan making Flynn Adams bow before nailing him with that kneeling DDT 
and like I said Roy Nolan is not in the best mindset right now he is infuriated and he's gonna take it out on poor little Flynn Adams oh and a big lariat but who's gonna be coming out number three oh it's Tizda looks like he couldn't wait to get his hands on Roy Nolan Oh, look who he goes after. Tizza here to play spoiler. But Flynn Adams getting involved with Tizza now. They could have been working together, but no. Flynn Adams goes after Tizza. Flynn Adams says, I will not be ignored. And now, here comes the big Tony Nutt. Tony Ventura. Tony Ventura, part of the Ventura brothers, the, the Italian stallion would love to get himself an opportunity at the tag team titles. After failing to get his hands on that King of the Ring championship, Tizza now looking to get rid of Flynn Adams here. Can he dump him over the top rope? Will we see number one become the first elimination? Oh, and here comes Tony Natoli. Looking to work together with his brother. No, wait. Looking to work together with Flynn Adams. I guess it's kind of a brother. But Tony Natoli going after Tony Ventura. And Flynn Adams still wants to get noticed here. As the ring is starting to fill up with stars. Tony Ventura looking to eliminate Tony Natoli here. And here comes Travis Dyer. His tag team partner Kyle Andrews. And they have yet to earn themselves a tag team championship opportunity tonight. And maybe that night. As, as he's looking to go after Tony Natoli and Tizza now going after Tony Ventura but Flynn Adams has yet to leave Roy Nolan and Tizza alone actually he's just picking a fight with everyone but Tizza now looking for the eliminate looking to eliminate Roy Nolan here and here comes the biggest man of the match Sean O'Connor former undisputed tag team champion and going after his old rival Tony Natoli the man he defeated for the undisputed tag team titles in this match his tag team partner not Lance Danielson but it is Clark Oliver Morrison and look at this Tony Ventura hanging on fighting back as Travis Dyer looking to eliminate Tizda and here comes the former three-time hardcore champion El Texaco representing the, t the Texas Dream and a dragon suplex there by Tizda to Travis Dyer and now he's picking a fight with the biggest man in the ring but how wise is that as Sean O'Connor just threw him out like he was nothing he's practically saying get out of my way I don't know if he meant to throw him over but is the first man eliminated for picking a fight with Sean O'Connor as Travis Dyer and Tony Natale was working together kind of to take out Sean O'Connor and El Texaco in dangerous waters here Roy Nolan could eliminate him after all no, it wasn't Roy Nolan who took the title off of El Texaco. It was the other way around, I believe. Oh, and Flynn Adams, the elimination on Tony Natoli. I mean, Tony Ventura. Why would he eliminate his own tag by now? That'd be silly. But now, what the? Tony Natoli's going after Flynn Adams here. What the? What is going on? And Roy Nolan just took out the biggest dog in the park. Oh, but 
Looks like Tony Natoli, Flynn Adams back on the same page at least for now. As Flynn Adams looking to take out Roy Nolan. And here comes Clark Oliver Morrison. Oh, can Flynn Adams get rid of... Can he get rid of him? Roy Nolan hanging on. We've already seen him in action earlier tonight. But Flynn Adams does have the experience in Battle Royales. Oh, and there goes Tony... There goes, um... What's his name? Travis Dyer. I think he hit the stairs on the way down. But Roy Nolan, El Texaco, they've got history with each other over that hardcore championship, but it's not about the hardcore title, it's about the tag team titles. And Tony Natoli just going to town on the face of Clark Oliver Morrison. The Clark back it. Oh, and a big lariat. There goes El Texaco. Roy Nolan dominating. And here comes the first of the two Lashley brothers. Here comes Ali Lashley. Another powerhouse and going right after Tony Natoli. But look at this, Roy Nolan, he is not backing down. He is going after the biggest bulls in the park. The biggest bulls. And he's going after a former tag team champion and former champion of champions. Roy Nolan is not backing down from anyone. He came in at number two. Big Lariat, there goes Clark Oliver Morrison and he comes the first member of a rising. Oh, big flat liner there and here comes Jay Lee, former cruiserweight champion. There's Jay Lee now taking apart Roy Nolan. Slynn Adams trying to fight back against Ali Lashley. And now Jay Lee looking to take out. Oh, tried to take out Roy Nolan, but no, Roy Nolan fighting back and looking for a stump pile driver. And who's coming out next? Here comes the other Lashley brother, Abbas Lashley. And here we go, Irish whip into the corner. Roy Nolan taking a beating here and finally eliminated as the Lashley brothers now are looking to square off. Ali, I don't think you understand what's going on here. But Ali going after Bass here, looking to prove that he's the more dominant brother. Like Flynn Adams is going after Tony Natoli. And here comes Kenny Dreamer. Ali Lashley looking to eliminate Bass. But here goes Kenny Dreamer. It's strange how the two tag teams are fighting each other. Maybe this is their best opportunity to prove who the better man is. Jay Lee staying focused on Kenny Dreamer. Oh, paintbrush. And here comes one of the two outlaws, Jake Robinson. And he, Kenny Dreamer with that stomp. But now Ali Lashley focused on getting rid of Tony Natoli. Can he throw him out? Flynn Adams being in it since number one. He could survive the entire Battle Royale. And here we go. Irish whip now into the corner. Ali Lashley spear in the corner. Big shot in the face. And another one. But who's coming out next? Who's going to join this carnage? It's going to be Richie Van Toro. Older brother of Tony Natoli. I mean, Tony Ventura. And of course, he does have some issues with the Lashley brothers. And now looking to take him out. Oh, no, never mind. He's gone. <laughs> Holy shit. 
the Lashley brothers looking to eliminate not one but two people but Flynn Adams still hanging on like a leech and Jake Robinson taking out Jay Lee our former hardcore champion just eliminating our former cruiserweight champion Kenny Dreamer now oh tied for a back suplex he got hit with that bulldog and Jay Lee can't believe it but they still got one man of a rising left to come out as Jake Robinson still has Malcolm Riley to come out Bass Lashley now has a big opportunity here to take out Jake Robinson Glenn Adams and Tony Natale once again turning on each other tried for the bro code missed and Kenny Dreamer in trouble here but able to fight off the alley and here comes Kyle Andrews and Ali Lashley looking to take out Bass looking to dump his brother over the top rope oh and there goes one of the Lashley brothers and I think Tony Natale got eliminated too at some point. Hmm. Kenny Dreamer. Oh, slight diced bread there. But now we won't have any more tag team warfare. At least out of the Lashley brothers. And... Oh, there goes Kyle Andrews, and looks like. Young Key's coming out next. Look at that big power slam. But here comes Young Key. Flynn Adams busted open and he has been putting on a performance of a lifetime. A Russian leg sweep by Young Key. I mean by Jake Rumson. Three men left. I believe that is Malcolm Riley. Raiden Hamilton and Corvo Jack. And here we go, cut up. Like, and Flynn Adams is sitting there in the corner resting. He has been taking a beating since the start of this match. Been nothing short of impressive his survivability rate. So who's coming out next? Raiden Hamilton, the number one contender for the United States Championship. That's Flynn Adams now looking to take out Jake Robinson. Oh, nearly got rid of him. But will he get rid of him? Oh, and a super kick. No, doesn't get rid of... Doesn't get rid of Ali Lashley. And Jake Robinson looking to show Raiden Hamilton the door. Look at this. Still hanging on. Will Flynn Adams be gone? No, but Kenny Dreamer will be. And yes, Flynn Adams is out of here. Almost surviving the entire tournament. It looks like the Texas Dream and the Chick Magnets will not be getting title opportunities. And here comes the United States Champion, Corvo Jack. But that leaves Malcolm Riley as Mr. Number Last. Mr. Number 20, I should say, but yeah. But Ali Lashley and Raiden Hamilton looking to go to blows. Corvo Jack looking to push Jake Robinson over the top rope. Will he? Will he fall? No, able to fight out. And here comes Malcolm Riley running bulldog incoming and a backstabber there by Raiden Hamilton there you go looking to pick him up oh and drops him well now Corvo Jack he tries for a slap got an uppercut instead and another one he's forced to sit in the corner and watch this go down but Young Key 
Doesn't want him to wait around long and looks like Malcolm Riley and Jacob Jake Robinson going after each other. Young Key tried to go for Malcolm Riley. That's a big that is a bad idea. You are so goddamn stupid. A Raiden Hamilton. Can he eliminate Ali Lashley? Ali Lashley. I think he's been in the match the longest out of these six men. And Raiden Hamilton just going to town on Ali Lashley. Bobo Jack. Looking to get rid of a certain outlaw here. Back breaker, neck breaker. Malcolm Riley now going after Corvo Jack. And oh, there's a flatliner for Corvo. All in a big head kick by Young Key and Corvo Jack continuing to fight back. Boot to the side of the head. I think Malcolm Riley was trying to defend his tag team partner. Corvo Jack just flying at Young Key. But I don't know how wise it is to go to the top rope in a match like this. As these two are supposed to be tag team partners, but they keep going to blows. Oh, look at these big clubbing shots. Raiden Hamilton with the super kick and Young Key hanging on. Able to survive the trip over the top rope. And Malcolm Riley now looking to eliminate the United States champion. Corvo Jack is in a world of trouble here. And is Corvo going to fall? No, Corvo able to stay in the ring with a shot to the face of Malcolm Riley. And now looking to come to blows with Raiden Hamilton. Corvo would love to eliminate Raiden right here. And Raiden would love to eliminate Corvo. Jack ruin each other's opportunity at becoming a dual champion. But here we go now, Raiden Hamilton has Corvo on the ropes. Oh, and there's a super kick and Corvo goes right over Raiden Hamilton. Face buster to Malcolm Riley. And we are down to five. The Outlaws have a 40% chance of walking out with the opportunity at the tag team titles. Corvo Jack had an opportunity, but now Ali Lashley could be dumped out right beside him. But you gotta think it was because Corvo Jack had such a hellacious match against Roy Nolan earlier tonight that he wasn't able to hang on to the very end of this match. But not to mention he also took a super kick to the face. But so did Young Key. Malcolm Riley taking a kick to the body. Uppercut there by Ali Lashley. And just leaves him against the ropes. Ali Lashley looking to possibly take out Malcolm Riley. And look at this. Young Key. Can he get rid of Jake Robinson? Ray and Hamilton in the corner. And a massive choke slam. Beautiful counter there. Kick to the body. Big knee to the side of the head. And Raiden Hamilton could be looking to eliminate Jake Robinson here. Ali Lashley looking to eliminate Young Key. Malcolm. Oh, and there goes one of the outlaws. And there goes the other member of Arising. We are down to three. Will it be the Lashley brothers? Will it be r, &R Or will it be the Outlaws? Because they still have Malcolm Riley in this match. Oh, and a vicious gut buster there. Followed up with a senton by the big man. And here he goes. Looking for a suplex. No, he turns it into a... Knee strike to the top of the head. Oh, and a back breaker. Arm drag there, keeping down Ali Lashley. Reed and Hamilton calls himself the goat and 
he may be just that if he can eliminate both Ali Lashley and Malcolm Riley. It looks like Malcolm and Raiden working together. Big gut buster there on the knees. Oh, and a boot to the face. Malcolm Riley isn't going anywhere, at least for now. And another flatliner. Here we go, big European uppercut. And now, back, back suplex. Raiden Hamilton in a world of trouble here. But no, able to stay alive. As here comes Ali Lashley back to his feet now. Raiden Hamilton. Looking to put Malcolm Riley up against the ropes, but no, Malcolm able to fight out of it. I think the performance of the night has to go to Flynn Adams, but it's not about Flynn Adams, it's about these three men. Which one is going to earn themselves a tag team championship opportunity? As Ali Lashley now looking to take out Raiden Hamilton. We're going to drag him up against the ropes now. A Raiden able to fight out of it. This is like a triple threat match for a singles title. And Ali Lashley looking to put down Raiden Hamilton again, but no, Raiden able to slide out of it. And a shot to the back of the head of Malcolm Riley. Malcolm has an opportunity here. Look at these body blows. All in a big uppercut. And here we go. Our script now into the corner. Malcolm Riley. Lariat over the top rope. And there goes Ali Lashley. We are down to two. As Malcolm Riley going to town on the face of Raiden Hamilton and busted him open. That's going to leave a nice little marking for the uh, United States Championship match. And now Malcolm Riley has one goal in mind. Take out the two-time United States Champion and become number one contenders for the undisputed tag team titles at NCW Storm. But can he do it? Raiden Hamilton dropkick fail. Malcolm Riley needs to take this opportunity. Ooh, cutscene. Look at these two squaring off of each other. And here we go, back suplex. Tried for, possibly tried for an Irish rip, but got counted. Oh, big Lariat. Oh. Malcolm Riley is just like a wall of a human being. There he goes. Fall away slam. And now stomped to the side of the head. You know, he's going after the open wound. Fist of Fury. But wait, he's not busted open. There's no blood on the face of Raiden, but he's busted open. This man does not bleed. But these two go on a war. Malcolm Riley wants that opportunity at the tag team titles and he's willing to kill for it. And now Malcolm Riley has one thing in mind. Take Raiden over that top rope. Is he going? Going, going. 
Oh, able to hang on to that bottom rope, but Malcolm Riley looking to kick him off, and there he goes. Malcolm Riley with the championship opportunity. <laughs> A big forearm to the back of the head. <laughs> Wabam. But in the end, Malcolm Riley, Jake Robertson. They have the tag team championship title match against the Kings of Darkness at NCW Unfold. No, not unforgettable for at NCW Storm. Big opportunities. Will they be able to cash it in? But we'll have to find out at Storm. Here we go. Big eight man tag team match to close out. Episode 26 on our road to our f to the road to our NCW storm And here we go David Cassidy Coming out first. He can't wait after this things Evan Edwards said to him earlier tonight He wants to get his hands on Evan Edwards in this match Of course David Cassidy had that amazing un that amazing 30 minute Iron Man match against Okada to defend the undisputed title and then news got out that he would be defending that title against Evan Edwards but not without a price. David Cassidy will get himself an opportunity to challenge for the hardcore title. The one title that means more to him than the undisputed title. Well, kind of on the same level. He wants to be known as the first ever NCW Undisputed Hardcore Champion. But here comes his opponents. Three men who have opportunities at championships. First, the two-time Cruiserweight Champion, the Roll-Up Kid. Making his way to the ring. He has another opportunity defeat Lucha, to defeat Lucha Rainbow for that Cruiserweight title and become undisputed I mean not undisputed but a three-time cruiserweight champion but of course the last two times he's gotten in the ring with Lucha Rainbow they have not gone well for him but everything can turn down on can turn around on one night one night of the year you can be better than the other and that night could be at NCW Storm as a roll-up kid looking to make history as the first ever three-time NCW Cruiserweight Champion. And here comes the number one contender for the NCW Intercontinental Championship representing Death Club he is the assassin Tommy A. Hawkins Tommy A. Hawkins a former tag team champion two time world tag team champion I should say but tonight I mean, tonight he wants to get his hands on Eddie Knight to show what's going to happen at Storm and that is going to be the end of the reign of Eddie Knight Tommy A. Hawkins wants to win his first singles championship and at NCW Storm that may just happen. That's right, one opportunity is all he needs but at NCW Unforgettable he was unable to win the United States Championship. But it's not about the US title, it's about the Intercontinental title and that's the gold 
that Tommy A. Hawkins wants after winning that 30 man Iron Man dance between Clark Oliver Morrison himself and Roy Nolan. But here it comes. A man who defeated seven others to earn himself this opportunity at the King of the Ring Championship. Of course, that won't make him King Lance, no, but it will make him King of the Ring if he can defeat the man known as Ken Phillips. This will be the first time the King of the Ring Championship will be defended. And what an opponent it is. The former NCW Undisputed Champion. The man who looks like he was chiseled out of stone. The most gifted athlete possibly in NCW. Lance Danielson, he's got the height. He's got the look. He's got the power. He's got the speed. He's got the athletic capabilities of being a champion. Being a world champion. And tonight he could be sending a message not only to the King of the Ring champion but also the undisputed champion who will be in his corner tonight. His tag team partner. But normally Lance Danielson's tag team partner involves a seven foot Viking and a little smart ass in the form of Clark Oliver Morrison. But we saw them earlier tonight and they did not have great luck winning that opportunity to become tag team champions but that's three down we still got one more to go to complete this team oh no we don't we got the uh, champions I'm like wait a minute is that Roy no is that Raiden Hamilton no it's Eddie Knight the sixth time Intercontinental Champion and former three-time world champion Eddie Knight currently holds the record for the most Intercontinental titles but this reign is not about quantity it's about quality and after defeating Corvo Jack at NCW Unforgettable he planned on defeating Tommy A. Hawkins at NCW Storm in the same manner, pure domination. Eddie Knight wants to become the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion as well as the most reigns as champ. But look at that arrogance just spewing from Eddie Knight. I think he's like the only one with his own t shirt. NCW made. But that's one of three champions to be on that side. And here comes one of Eddie Nye's good buddies. The king of the ring champion. The king himself. Ken Phillips. Ken Phillips winning that title after three grueling months of the King of the Ring Championship Tournament. He went from underdog to champion the entire way through. Reigning supreme as a veteran of NCW. He was definitely overlooked the first couple of rounds, but when his name continued to appear, in the top 32, in the top 16, even in the top 8, 4. You knew you had to turn your eyes on to this man. But Ken Phillips. Somehow defeating Sean O'Connor in the finals. To take that King of the Ring championship. But now he has to his first title defense at Storm. In the form of Lance Danielson. Not to mention he'll also find out who his next challenger will be if he can survive 
Lance, and that will be between Dylan Nairock and Angel Ramirez. Winner of that will earn the next shot at the King of the Ring Championship. And the fireworks go off, and who is it next? It is, of course, the NCW Cruiserweight Champion. Some call him the King of the Cruiserweights. That is the Lucha Rainbow, former five-time light heavyweight champion, former United States champion, and a former champion of champions. But now it's all about that Cruiserweight title. It's all about destroying those who wish to fly those who reach to re those who wish to reach the levels that only gods can attend will be crushed under the might of lucha rainbow and the roll-up kid he's been crushed not once but twice but lucha rainbow try to break his spirit that's not going to happen so the next best thing break his body and he may get an opportunity to do that tonight in this eight man tag team match. But that's seven down, we got one to go. No, it's the hardcore champion, the Mexican sensation, Mr. Undefeated, and the number one contender for the NCW Undisputed Championship, Evan Edwards. As Evan Edwards has a big opportunity ahead of him at Storm, not only putting his hardcore championship anti streak on the line against David Cassidy but an opportunity to win the undisputed title in his first main event of a pay-per-view we have just seen the end of an era with Okada but will we see the beginning of a new era in the form of Evan Edwards earlier tonight he had some choice words for the undisputed champion but now, it's time to put up or shut up. As this is his first pay... This is actually his first main event match. And here we go. We are kicking things off with David Cassidy and Eddie Knight. And here we go, big arm held suplex there. Drops the forearm across the... Looked like the forearm or the bicep or the elbow, but either way, Evan Ed Eddie Knight continuing to take advantage over the undisputed champion. He's looking to head top rope, but Tommy A. Hawkins there to greet him with a couple of good body blows and oh, pushes him off there to pin one. Never mind, David Cassidy kicked out. But Eddie Knight looking to get a little bit of payback there on Tommy A. Hawkins as he throws him into the ring with an overhead belly to belly suplex and now David Cassidy looking for a snap suplex of his own knee to the head by Eddie Knight and a big forearm there Tommy A. Hawkins doing death club what death club does best and now just pick a fight when you're the illegal man but Eddie Knight German suplex and Tommy A. Hawkins out of the picture now as Eddie Knight continuing to dominate. Tag made to his good buddy from World Elite, Ken Phillips. And here we go. Pops him up. Looking for a Tower of Doom. Suplex. But a powerbomb to Eddie Knight. And was that the wise choice to go with? Who knows? But here comes the roll-up kid. And a big forearm to the King of the Ring champion. Followed up with a lariat and another forearm. And Phillips, perfect counter. Here he goes. Dragon suplex. And not done yet. But roll up kid now. 
Looking for a suplex to go counted into a neck breaker. Now looking for a snap suplex. Looking for a regular suplex. The roll up kid. Looking to keep Ken Phillips down here, but no, Ken Phillips able to get through with that European uppercut. And now Irish Whip across the ring into the corner of the four, three other champions. Tag made to Eddie Knight. And here we go, Ken Phillips throwing Eddie Knight across the ring, landing on top of the roll-up kid. And now Eddie Knight heading top rope. Big frog splash. And a solid kick to the body now, Eddie Knight looking for that modified Knight sword and incoming. But that's not it. That's not the ending factor. Eddie Knight looking for the Knight's bomb. David Cassidy know what, knows what's coming but can't get involved to stop this. And here we go, Knight's bomb in the corner. But Hand reaches that rope and Ken Phillips flies in and tries to take out David Cassidy as Cassidy gets rid of him. But Ken Phillips was able to hang on to stay in the corner. Is Eddie Knight now going after that knee. Shots fired. As Roller Kid is the one in trouble right now. But able to get out of it with that reverse DDT. But doesn't go for the tag. Instead goes with the rolling forearm. Hooks the leg. One. Ooh, nearly pin tried to pin the Intercontinental Champion, but no luck there. And now big back elbows to the head of Eddie Knight. The roll-up kid could be looking to put away Eddie Knight here with his trademark roll-up pin and here he goes. No, he doesn't go for the roll-up pin. Instead drags him to the middle of the ring. Looking for the cover. Hooks the leg. One, two. Kick out by Eddie Knight. And here comes Tommy A. Hawkins to get himself a piece of the champion. Tommy I mean, A. Yeah, Hogan's begging him to bring it. Big European uppercut. Kick to the midsection. Now looking for a suplex. Oh, just releases him mid air. And Tommy A. Hawkins comes crashing to the ground. Tag made the Lucha Rainbow. And here comes the king of the cruiserweight, so to speak. as the champions have been dominating the challenges. Got a big forearm there, now looking for a pile driver. Look at Rainbow being dumped on his head there. And now a big right hand knocking him down. Coming off the road, clubbing shot. Oh, he tried for a clothesline, Lucha Rainbow duck, but took one to the back of the skull. Now, oh, big discus hooked to the face. Tommy A. Hawkins is begging the Cruiserweight Champion to bring it. But you know he wants his hands on Eddie Knight. Shot to the face now. Looking to crush the skull between his hands. And just shoves Lucha Rainbow's face into the mat. And here comes Lucha Rainbow, tags in Ken Phillips. And here we go, big European uppercut. Another one. And a third one, this time misses. Tommy A. Hawkins has an opportunity here, picks him up. Oh, but Ken Phillips able to turn it into a DDT. Looking for the tag. 
Doesn't tag in Lance Danielson. Snap suplex. This time makes the tag and here we go. Champion versus challenger for the King of the Ring Championship and Ken Phillips just putting him down instantly. And here we go, big shoulder block. Reverse DDT on the knee, kind of like a backbreaker. Here we go, pulls him back into a knee to the midsection. In pain is Ken Phillips. Try to the face, German suplex. Like I said, gifted, a gifted athlete. But now what's he thinking here? Oh, hangs him off the top rope. Oh, and there's that big bicycle kick planting the boot right into the face of Ken Phillips. There he goes, slides under into the gut buster. Shot to the face, nice Danielson now. Tiger suplex, dumping Ken Phillips on the back of his head. But Ken Phillips not staying down, dragging screw to that unprotected knee. And Lance Daniel, Ken Phillips and Lucha Rainbow having a bit of words there on the outside. Saying you're not the true king, I am. And Ken Phillips took his eyes off the ball and gonna pay for it. Lance Anderson hooks the leg one. And Lucha Rainbow, the one who was taking words, was the only one who jumped in. And he got caught by Tommy A. Hawkins. And here we go, roll up pin. One, two. No, Ken Phillips turns it around. One. Dude. Oh, David Cassidy breaks it up. As exploded suplex from Ken Phillips. Lucha Rainbow busted open. Break up there. Evan Edwards now looking to get involved. Looking for a scoop slam. Got counted. And a neck breaker over the knee. And there goes Evan Edwards. Might not even get involved in this one. But a shot to the face, shot to the midsection there. Big Lariat taken to the outside over the top. <laughs> and back into the ring we go. But this is a mistake by Ken Phillips. There we go. Back suplex. German suplex. And spin him around for a normal suplex. As Ken Phillips now looking to make that tag, but no, Lance Danielson dragging him away from his corner. And now, what is he looking for? Is he looking for the tag to the undisputed champion? And now we got King of the Ring champ versus Undisputed Champion in this one. Ken Phillips now looking for a German suplex. David Cassidy getting dropped on his... Look like on the back of his neck. Oh, and just takes down Ken Phillips. What is a king to a god that they say... The tag made to Lance Danielson let him get a few cracks in on his NCW Storm opponent. Oh, tried for a super kick. Go caught with a belly to back suplex. More like a belly to back takedown, but boot to the side of the head misses. Oh, but Ken Phillips with a drop kick out of nowhere. Oh, 
Throw to the face. Russian leg sweep. Now looking to target that leg. Continue the damage on the vertical base of the big man. One. No, not even. A, only a one count. Jesus Christ. Got a big back body drop. Oh, and a vicious stomp there. But Ken Phillips not done yet. Oh, big lariat taking off his head. And that vicious lance boot to the face. Oh, and a big lariat. Ken Phillips tried to crawl away. No luck there. Lance Danielson looking to put him down with a lance slam as he hooks the leg. And here comes the roll up kid Took, taking out Evan Edwards. And looks like the challenges with the undisputed champion just slayed the king. And not to mention Lance Danielson got the pin on Ken Phillips. But I mean, I don't think David Cassidy really did much in this one. Or Tommy A. Hawkins. But that's the, that's the team that won tonight. The number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. Roll up kid. The number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Tommy A. Hawkins. Number one contender for the Inter... No, for the King of the Ring Championship. Lance Danielson. And the Undisputed Champion. And number one contender for the Hardcore title. David Cassidy. But that has been it for episode 26 of NCW. If you liked any of the matches, please hit that like button. Share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Hit that notification button to stay up to date for, with NCW action. And there's going to be a lot of it this week. But you can also follow NCW on Twitter at NCWXTREME. -E. That's where you know what's going on in the world of NCW. Also, you can follow me on Twitter... You can follow NCW's Developmental on Twitter. Both will be down in the link description below. But that has been it for episode 26. Tune in next time for round 7 for the A Block of the All Stars Tournament. Until then, this is Neo Extreme signing out. Goodbye, good night, good luck, and see you later.